Hi, this is Mike with uh, Skull Dynasty. Um, I've been missing for a while. I um, just uh, wanted to put some content out there before the start of the season, which starts tomorrow night. Uh, basically, this video is going to be about trade targets, whether a contending team or a team looking to rebuild. So I have a mix of young players, old players that I really like on each uh, team. Um, so we'll start off with the Arizona Cardinals uh, trade targets. Um, for the Arizona Cardinals would be Chase Edmonds. He should be the running back uh, one this year um, at Arizona. So he'd be a guy to target. And the reason why I like Chase Edmonds um, is because James Conner has the injury history. Um, so uh, Edmonds is also a really good pass catcher. So in full PPR leagues, um, he'll get you... 10 points just, um, you know, as a floor because his um, receiving skills are that good. Also, um, sticking with Arizona, another person I like, especially if you're in re rebuild mode, um, the wide receiver, too, with Arizona should be Rondell Moore, depending on how they use A.J. Green and um, also uh, Christian Kirk. I think Rondell Moore... Um, Looking at the high, highlights and film on Rondell Moore with Purdue, um, I really like this film a lot. And his statistics, especially in his freshman year, were outstanding. So I'll go out and get him. Uh, the next um, trade target I want to talk about is from Atlanta, Russell Gage. Now that there's vacated targets. Um, with Julio Jones' absence, now they got Ridley and Pitts there. I think um, Atlanta is going to be a team that's not that good, so they're going to throw a lot. Um, Matt Ryan is going to be throwing the ball a lot this year, so Russell Gage is another guy I'll go out and get. The next team I have up is um, the Carolina Panthers, and there's two players I like on Atlanta to go out and get. One of them is going to be uh, Hubbard, and the reason why I would go out and get Hubbard, he had really good uh, college statistics. Uh, he rushed for over 2,000 yards one year. And um, Christian McCaffrey, um, which is a really injury-prone last year. I don't know how he's going to hold up for a whole season, but I don't see him playing the whole 17 games if he misses – Three to five games, that wouldn't surprise me at all. So Hubbard might be a guy you can insert in your lineup um, later in the year. You could probably get him cheap for maybe like um, a third a third round pick. So his value is not that high right now. I'll go out and get him. Also, um, I'm really high on Terrace Marshall. He had a great preseason. I liked his um, college uh, numbers as well. He's a really good uh got a threat in the red zone, so really high on Terrace Marshall. Maybe not this year, but in the following years, um, I think he's going to be a really good player, so I'll go out and get him now before he's super expensive. Um, the next team is the Bears. Um, I like uh, Darnell Mooney a lot. Um, he catches everything thrown to him. Um, so he'd be a guy I'll go out and get. He has good speed. Once uh, the Bears go with Justin Fields, um, it's going to unlock Darnell Mooney a lot with the uh, deep passing game. I can't wait to see that. Um, also, the backup, uh, Khalil Herbert, might be a good guy to get as well. Um, the reason why I like him is Cohen is coming back off an of injury. And in case anything happens to David Montgomery... Um, you might be able to get Herbert for a third or fourth round pick. Um, the stationer bench. Um, I think he's a pretty good, decent player. Uh, next guy, um, the Cowboys. Um, a guy I'd be looking to target is uh, actually Tony Pollard. Zeke isn't getting any younger. Um, he has a lot of miles on him. He's at that age apex where he's now 26. Um, I think Pollard's going to get a lot um, more carries than he has in seasons past, and he is a very talented player. So I'll look out to get Tony Pollard. Next up, the Lions. One guy I'll be trying to get is Amon Ra St. Brown. The reason why I would go out and get him, um, I think he's the best uh, 
wide receiver on the team. I know Swift and Hawkinson will probably take most of the targets, but that would be a guy I'd be looking to get. Um, he uh, He's really good at route running. He has good hands. He's overall a good player. I was actually surprised he went in the fourth round in the NFL draft. I thought he would be drafted in the second or third. I think the Lions had a really good draft with Penny Sewell and Amon Ross St. Brown. Um, so they're looking to rebuild for the future. I think they made some excellent picks. Um, the next team I'm looking at is the Vikings. And there's two players I'll be uh, looking to get um, now at Irv Smith's injury. Tyler Conklin um, as a tight end um, would be, um, you could probably get him really cheap, maybe for a fourth rounder. Um, or he might be a, a waiver in most leagues, but he'd be a guy I'd be looking for. Also, Alexander Madison with the injury history with Dalvin Cook. Um, you never know when Dalvin's going to go down. So Alexander Madison has shown in the past that he could provide um, – some fantasy upside. He's got a big body. And I always liked um, what I've seen from Alexander Madison. I know a lot of people are low on him, but I think if Dalvin Cook goes down, he could put up good fantasy stats for you. Um, the next guy is a guy on the Saints, kind of under the radar, um, running back for them. Now that Latavius Murray just got caught, Tony Jones. I really liked what I've seen from Tony Jones during the preseason, so it would be a guy I look out for. Uh, next up is the Eagles, uh, Devontae Smith. Um, I really think um, Devontae Smith is a good player. I watched um, a lot of Alabama games, and even when Ruggs and Judy was there, I noticed Devontae Smith a lot. Very good speed, very good hands, very good production. I know he's coming out a little bit later when you like to see his senior year, but... Uh, I don't think that means much. The Eagles, um, they have um, Rager. Um, he didn't look that good last year. Ertz and Goddard are good. Um, Sanders might be might be uh, split in time with Boston Scott and Kenneth Gainwell. So I think Devontae Smith's going to be the main guy to look in the target this year. Um, so I think he's a guy to buy. Um, the Niners, I like two guys on the Niners. Try and go out and get Trey Lance. I really like um, his arm. He has a really good arm, and he's um, he doesn't make many mistakes with the football. And he kind of reminds me of Michael Vick a little bit running the football. So he's got that rushing upside. I think he's going to be the next uh, Kyler Murray slash Lamar Jackson type. Um, also another guy to buy low on would be Debo Samuel. He's been injury prone the, the last couple of years, but I think he's got a tremendous upside. And when he hits in, in a week, he hits in a week. And you could probably get him pretty cheap, relatively cheap for a second rounder or so. Um, the next guy I want to talk about is Zach Wilson. I think, um, he's a guy you should go out and, and try to get. Um, he's got a really good arm, mobility. I think he's going to be a really good player for a long time to come. Um, the next player I want to speak about is uh, Rojo uh, with Tampa Bay. I think out of the three running backs there, um, he has the highest probability to succeed. And the reason why is Fournette um, isn't getting any um, younger and also, Giovanni Bernard, I know he's got a great pass catcher, but that's not part of Rojo's game. So if you're looking for a guy relatively cheap, maybe you can get him for a second rounder. Um, Rojo's a very, very productive runner. He's not going to get you 20 points a week because he's not in the pass catching game, but he can get you a solid 10 points a week. Um, next person I want to talk about is from the Washington football team, Diami Brown. I think uh, Diami Brown is going to be a good uh, good player for years to come. Um, with Curtis Samuel there, Terry McLaurin, he might not get much playing time the first year, but eventually years down the road, I think Diami Brown is a great player um, to get. He's um, He averages almost 20, 20 yards, if not 20 yards, a catch in college. He had a couple thousand yard seasons. Um, out of North Carolina, so um, he would be a guy I'd be looking to get. 
Um, for the Ravens, um, there's two guys um, you should be targeting. Um, one is uh, Gus Edwards. The reason why I like Gus Edwards is because the Ravens' backfield doesn't have any running backs right now with... Um, with Hill going down and J.K. Dobbins, it only leaves him with Gus Edwards and uh, Tyson Williams, who I never heard of until um, re- just recently. So Gus Bus should be getting a, a large workload. He's not really a pass catching back, um, but if you're looking for a good depth running back, he's definitely got to go out and get for maybe a second round pick. Next up is uh, the Bills. The Bills, um, two guys I. I'm pretty high on the consensus is uh, Zach Moss. Um, I really like Zach Moss's film in college. I think he's a tough runner, good receiver. Um, If he stays healthy, that's the only thing on him. He should be getting the groundwork near the goal line. Uh, Josh Allen and him. Um, Devin Singletary, I think you could put him on the back burner for now. I think this is a... Uh, it's Moss season, so um, I think Moss can have a really good year. The only thing is with him is his health, and I'd like to see him get a little more reception. I know he has that in his repertoire, so the next person I would like to talk about in the Bills is also Dawson Knox. I think with Josh Allen being there, um, with Diggs, Emmanuel Sanders, Cole Beasley, um, and now uh, Dawson Knox. I think anyone could be good in this offensive system because they like to throw the ball a lot. Um, so I think not Knox, you can get them relatively cheap too. Next person I'd like to, like to talk about is uh, Chris Evans on the Bengals. Really athletic running back. Um, back up to Joe Mixon. Um, so I think that'd be a, a good guy to take a look at in case anything happens to Joe Mixon. Um, next person um, is on the Brown, Donovan Peoples-Jones, very talented receiver. And with uh, OBJ going down a lot, I think he's a good guy to target. Um, next up is um, the Broncos, and I really like a lot of players on the Broncos. They got Javante Williams. Um, I would go out and get him now because I think his value is going to skyrocket. Cortland Sutton coming back from an ACL, you might be able to go out and get him cheap as well. I think he's um, a really good receiver. He had a really good second season in the NFL. Jerry Judy, um, I really liked what I saw with Jerry Judy last year. He had a he had some drop issues, but overall, I think he's a good player. And Noah Font as well, another good player. Um, I think. Um, the only thing missing from the Broncos is a good quarterback. So you might be able to get these guys cheap now while you can before they go out and get somebody maybe next year. And I actually don't think Teddy Bridgewater is a bad quarterback for fantasy. Um, he was able to support multiple receivers last year in Carolina. Um, Samuel, DJ Moore. Um, so I don't think it should be an issue. Um, on the Houston Texans, I like uh, two guys, Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks is always productive every season, no matter if he's on a bad team, good team. Um, if you're looking to contend this year, that may, might be a guy you can get maybe for a second rounder. So go out and get him if you're a contender. Also, if you're a rebuild mode, Nico Collins might be a guy you want to take a shot on as well. Um, for Indianapolis Colts, there's two guys I really like. You should go out and try to get, um, Naheem Hines. The reason why I like him is, um, they just announced that he was going to be the backup to Jonathan Taylor, not Marlon Mack. And last year he had a really good, um, receiving season. So he's a good PPR back. He's a good guy, um, to target, um, and uh, also Michael Pittman. I think out of all the receivers on in Indianapolis, I think that's the guy that's going to get the highest targets. Paris Campbell's always hurt. So that would be the guy I would look to get if I were going out and trying to get a wide receiver. Next up is Jacksonville. I think the guy, the target there is Marvin Jones. I know he's a little bit inconsistent one week. He could put up a goose egg. The next week he could put up 20 points. Um, but he's always solid year after year. So Marvin Jones would be a guy I'd be looking to get. The Raiders, I have um, two two younger guys. Um, Brian Edwards, um, 
We're going to see who tries to emerge in that Nelson Aguilar role. And I think out of anyone on the team, it should be Brian Edwards. He's got the height, the build. Um, I've seen some of his plays during the preseason. Um, if he stays healthy, he could be a beast. Um, also, Foster Moreau, in case Darren Waller goes down. Great tight end. Um, the only reason why he doesn't see, see the field much is because of Darren Waller keeping him off the field. A um, couple guys on the Chargers I'd like to talk about. I think uh, Austin Eckler is going to have a great season. Um, great receiver. So, and he, you might be able to get him cheap because he's a little bit older, about 26. So, uh, you might be able to get him for a first and a second or two firsts. But he would be a guy I'll be looking to target if you're in contention mood. Also, Keenan Allen as well. You might be able to get him for a first round pick. No, he's getting a little bit older, but um, he's always productive. And Josh Palmer as well, being tied to um, Justin Herbert, doesn't doesn't hurt to have a piece of the Chargers offense. Um, Josh Palmer would be another guy. For the Dolphins, um, a stash would be, for me, uh, Hunter Long, uh, tight end. Um, I really liked Hunter Long. So that would be a guy I'd be looking to get and stash for a couple years. Usually tight ends don't hit the year three. So another guy, now that Mac Jones is the quarterback with New England, um, a guy I'd be looking to go after would be uh, James White. Um, the reason why is because now it's going to be more of a pass-happy offense in New England. I think James White will um, be more productive than he was last year at Cam. Um, next team I would like to talk about is, um, I actually talked about them earlier. Um, also wanted to touch base with the Jets, um, with Corey Davis and Elijah Moore. I think they're two guys that could be productive this year, um, for the Jets, definitely. And, um, next up's the Steelers, Chase Claypool. Um, Juju only has one year left of the Steelers and then he's going to go elsewhere. I think Chase Claypool... Um, is a good target. He had a really good uh, rookie season last year. He gets in the end zone. He's a big body, so I like everything I see with Chase Claypool. And one last team is the Titans. Um, if you're in contention mode, one guy you want to, might want to go out and get for cheap uh, will be Julio Jones. Um, I think he's got one good season left in him, so um, I think it... It wouldn't hurt to go out and get him. Um, I'll try and... Um, that's it for today's video. I'll try and get um, more videos out there during the season. Um, that's all for today. Have a great day.